So <clears throat> they're going to do a demonstration on how to make salted fish, which I believe comes already salted, right? Yep. The salted fish is purchased salted in African markets in Jacksonville, and they have fufu. So they're going to demonstrate how they make fufu, and they use a special wooden spoon that they brought from their country. And afterwards, within about 4.50 or 4.55, 4, 4 you can join us at their table over there and sample some fufu and salted fish and some vegetables that they brought today. So let's, let's get started. So she's first, she said she first washes some of the salt off because sometimes comes very, very salty. So if anyone has high blood pressure. Put the salt, then you dry it. You understand when you dry, the salt gonna go inside like really, really salted. So you have like to put in the water like for hours, at least like three, five hours. But it depends on how much salt you want in it. If you want really expensive, like you can eat it like that too. It's up to you. So right now she's like washing like the regular fish. So right now she's scraping some of the salt off. If, I don't know if you can see that. Just some water and some of the skin and salt off so it's not so salty. So you take the flavor for you to make fufu. You have to make sure your, hot, your, uh, your water is so hot and it's boiling and you don't turn your fry, your first stays on. And tell us about the wood. Like making it slowly, like, until it keeps going together, like, slowly. Like, the same way you make a bread. You know, like, when you make a bread, you keep adding stuff, adding flour. Can you tell us about the spoon? You said it's a special spoon you use. Uh, that spoon, they make it, they only make it in Africa. Here, there's kind of those too, like the regular ones, but they're, like, so soft because they don't like, you don't have to use it so strongly because it will wrap. But this one, it's so strong, you can even use it for a year. We have the one we've been using two years now since we came. So it looks kind of like mashed potatoes, a little different yeah. taste. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's corn, it's corn. They only make a flavor for corns, yeah. So it's interesting how she's turning it. So this spoon is specifically used for fufu? Yeah, only for fufu, nothing else we use for that. This is for... So you just keep adding the flavor until it goes together, until you feel like I want it soft, I want it so much like heavy. And you, you do it so slowly, so slowly, yeah. so the fire can keep like burning and you wait until it get ready to be eaten. And after you cook it, doesn't it become like a ball? So you eat it like a, like mm -hmm. take pieces? Uh, you make it as a ball by yourself. You can take a cup and put it with the cup, then do it and drop it on the plate. It will make a ball, yeah. Or you can just take it from there and put it on the plate, it's up to you. But so many people, when we eat it, we use our hands. We don't use the fork, so we make it a ball like on your hand and eat it. She's gonna start the salted fish frying so we can get started and sample some of their dishes. So this fufu is very sticky. Is that that's yeah. normal? Okay. You have to be sticky. So if you live in the uh, Northeast Florida area, you can buy salted fish from some local African markets that we have, um, and I'm sure they're out throughout Florida. That you can buy specifically this type of salted fish. You fry it, right? You can. Yeah, you just fry it like regular, the way you fry the chicken, the, the same way you fry the regular fish. So you just fry them. If you want to eat it fried, it's up to you. You can make it with tomatoes, onions. It does depend how many ingredients you want. Like, it's not everybody who likes so much ingredients. Someone would be like, I only want onions and tomatoes. So just say like a regular fish. Yeah, and you fry it. If you want to you wanna eat it, it's not fried. You just boil it and put the ingredients. You can eat that as well, too. And what do you normally serve fufu with? Is it with fish usually or other dishes? You can eat it with fish, you can eat it with meat, with goat, like pork, anything you want, yeah. Is this primarily? You can eat it with veggie too, with veggie. yeah, with it just veggie. Did you um, eat this both in Congo and Rwanda? I mean, is, is it 
like popular in that area in Central Africa? Uh, in Rwanda, in in Congo, that's all they eat. But in Rwanda, it's not that popular because they got their culture too. They eat like potatoes a lot, like bacon potatoes. That what they eat so much and beans that their food, but and green bananas. Yeah, but ours we only eat fufu like every time. Like her, she don't like eat American food, so that's what she eat every time. <laughs> So would you all like to join us over at the table right in front of their clothing and sewing machine and try some of their homemade fufu and salted fish. Thank you.